Ladies and gentlemen, picture this. It's the 1920s, a time when cars had the aerodynamics of a brick and driving at high speed felt like wrestling a stubborn bull. Then along comes Aurel Persu, an engineer who looked at the automotive world and said, you know what? Maybe we should stop strapping wagon wheels to a box and actually make cars that slice through the air instead of punching it in the face. Before we dive into this aerodynamic masterpiece, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps us keep the engines running on this channel. And let's be honest, where else are you going to find a guy ranting about century-old cars like they're the latest sports coupe? Now back to Pursue. The man wasn't just ahead of his time, he was practically in a different century. He built the Pursue Aerodynamic Automobile in 1923, a vehicle designed to glide through the air with less resistance than your friend dodging a check at dinner. It had a shape inspired by birds, with a unified body and all four wheels tucked inside the frame, unlike most of its competitors, which looked like they had spare parts glued on at random. Let's talk numbers. The car had a length of 4.60 meters, 15 and 1 tenth feet, a width of 1.40 meters, 4 and 6 tenths feet, and a height of 1.60 meters, 5 and 2 tenths feet. The front track was 1.20 meters, 3 and 9 tenths feet, while the rear track was just 0.70 meters, 2 and 3 tenths feet, which is narrower than most politicians' morals. Under the hood sat a 40 horsepower engine from AJ Worker in Berlin, because apparently nothing says Romanian innovation like German engineering. The best part? This car had an aerodynamic drag coefficient of just zero and two tenths. For context, the average car back then had a coefficient of eight tenths to one hole, meaning they pushed through the air like a sumo wrestler running through honey. Pursue's design was so efficient that at 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour, it needed only one fifth of the power that other cars of the era required. Now, you'd think car manufacturers would be lining up to slap their logos on this thing, right? Well, they were, but Pursue wasn't about to let just anyone take his baby. He refused to sell the patent because they wouldn't guarantee they'd actually produce the car. That's right. He looked at big American manufacturers and said, no deal, like an automotive Elon Musk before Elon Musk existed. And what did he do instead? He drove the car himself for over 150,000 kilometers, 93,000 miles. Imagine that. You invent a car so good that instead of selling it, you just take it for an extended joyride across Europe. That's commitment or stubbornness, probably both. Unfortunately, the Pursue Aerodynamic Automobile never made it to mass production. The world wasn't ready. People still thought good design meant sticking as many chrome bits as possible onto a chassis. But Pursue's vision paved the way for the streamlined designs we see today. Every sleek sports car, every aerodynamic concept vehicle, you can trace it all back to this Romanian genius who had the nerve to think outside the box literally. So if you ever find yourself admiring the smooth curves of a modern supercar, take a moment to remember Aurel Persu, the man who figured out aerodynamics before anyone else cared and then drove his own prototype like an automotive Forrest Gump. All right, folks, that's all for today. Stay tuned for more cool car facts coming your way. See you next time.